Hello everybody, I'm Nick and in this video I'm going to show you a very interesting optimization that C Sharp 11 adds that I personally didn't even know is needed, but looking at it, this will actually have an impact just based on how common this problem is and how much this feature is suggested by our IDs as a cleaner code approach, but actually until C Sharp 11, it was allocating more memory and make our applications slower. The feature I'm talking about has to do with method groups. Now, if you don't know what method groups is, don't worry, I'm going to show you everything you need to know in this video. If you like the of content and you want to see more, make sure you subscribe, ring the notification bell, and for more training, check out nickchapsas.com. So let's see what I have here. So I want to go in this project, and this is just a console application. It has nothing in it, and I am running this as you can see here in C Sharp 10, even though this is a .NET 7 project. And what I want to show you is basically the problem we're going to be tackling. So let's say I have a bunch of ages here and I have an enumerable dot uh, range and then from zero to 100 and I'm going to to list this. Um, and then let's say I want to get the sum of all the ages that are over 50. So I can say where um, and then pass a filter down and say x is more than 50 and then do a sum. So just something like that. And then if I do console.write line just to see what we're getting back, um, if I quickly just run this, as you can see, I am getting 3675 over here. Now, it is not uncommon that delegates like this are actually extracted into methods. So you could have something like this. You could have uh, a Boolean that is like your filter or like age filter and then you accept int age over here and you return age is over 50. And I'm just showing this very simple example. In reality, these tend to be actual methods you use in those delegates. But just so we have a common understanding in a very simple example, that's why I'm using this as an example. So I can now grab this and I can do this. I can say use that method over there and no, this should not be uh, 50. This should be like this. Use this method over there and if I run this, it will just go through the method and give me the same example. And as you can see, Rider here, and this has been like this since the feature got introduced, allows me to change this into a method group. And if I do that, I don't have to pass down the X or the parameter of the WHERE clause because it's just not needed, it will be inferred. Now, this is where the optimization comes in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce benchmarks here to explain exactly what's happening behind the scenes. So I've already added, as you can see in my program.cs um, benchmark.net to run my benchmarks. And I'm going to go ahead and create a method group benchmarks class. And this will have a memory diagnoser um, with a false uh, flag because I don't want to have the uh, Gauss collection generation columns. And then I'm going to have the same list of ages here, just the same range. I'm going to grab this filter over here, the age filter, and then my two benchmarks will look like this. So I have one benchmark that is using the full delegate approach and one that's using the method group approach. And all I need to do to see how this runs, and I'm going to just comment this out um, and say benchmark runner dot run method group benchmarks. Here we go. This is in release mode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this benchmark and see what's the difference between using the lengthy version and this version. And presumably this should be exactly the same, right? They're supposed to be doing exactly the same thing. Keep in mind, this bool is not static. This is an actual bool method. So I'm going to slap uh, run and let's see what we get back in the results. So results are back. And as you can see here, they both allocate the same amount of memory, 136 bytes. However, the one using the lengthy version, not the method group version, is a bit faster. Not, not by much. Again, these are nanoseconds, but it is a bit faster, but they allocate the same memory. So that is fine. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn this into a static method because it doesn't have to be an instance of that method. It can just be static because all the arguments are passed through parameters and there's no state mutation through this method. So why wouldn't I make it static, right? So that's the only thing I changed and I'm going to go ahead and run this again. And now with that being static, I want to see what's the difference in performance. So results are back for that too. And as you can see now, the one using the lengthy approach over here with the static method allocates basically half the memory 
and it is also significantly faster in the context of nanoseconds uh, than the method group one that's supposed to be doing the same thing. So this is a problem because IDEs will suggest you to turn this and any other instance of this into a method group, but by doing that, you just doubled your memory allocation for that thing. And that memory allocation is relative to what you're passing down as parameters too. So you might be harming your application's performance without knowing. And this is exactly what C-Sharp 11 is fixing. What's happening now is that if the method is static, just like in the lengthy approach, this will be cached. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the CS proj and I'm going to change this to preview, which is the preview language being C sharp 11. So I changed that. That's the only thing I changed. Everything else is exactly the same. And I'm going to run the benchmarks again and see how they compare with the optimization by Microsoft. So results are back and let's see what we have here. And as you can see now in C sharp 11, that memory allocation is completely eliminated and we have the exact same allocation for both the lengthy version and the method group version. However, the speed is different and we're going to see why the speed is slightly different, but don't worry, this will not cause you any problem, that speed differential. These are nanoseconds, it's very, very small. The memory, because it will trigger garbage collection, will actually harm you way more than these few nanoseconds, so don't worry about it. Now, why is this happening? Let's take a look at exactly how the code is translated in C Sharp 10 and then C Sharp 11 to see what was optimized and why this was happening in the first place. So I'm going to bring in my trusted tool, sharplab.io, that allows us to take a look at the lowered code. I'm going to pass down the list over here, and this is pointing to the C Sharp 10 compiler. So we're going to see how this would work in C Sharp 10. And I'm going to bring in the method. So let's just make this like this. Here we go. So as you can see, we have the sum methods, the method groups, C Sharp 10 over here, and now we can see the lowered code. And as you can see, what is happening in the non-static version in C Sharp 10 is a new function object is created um, every time this method is called, which makes sense because this is just an instance of this class and it would be unsafe to optimize it. Now, as you can see, the lengthy approach, the one at the top, is actually generating a method that is jumping and calling into that filter method, while the method group approach is actually directly calling that filter. Just a small difference between the behavior. However, if I change that to static, let's see how C Sharp 10 optimized the lengthy approach over here. So as you can see, what C Sharp 10 would do, and let me just make this bigger, is it would actually cache in this generated class and fields the function. So let's see how that works. First, it would generate this sealed class over here, a private sealed class. And then this, as you can see by the name that is matching um, this one over here, this is effectively a singleton. So it would instantiate itself and then it will create a static field for the function with this interesting name and then we'll still have that jump method that goes into the filter method now all that would come together in that call over here where there's a null check in that field remember that name that name is actually a null check on the cached field for that function and if it wasn't it would actually do in the instantiation once so every subsequent execution would be faster because it calls that cached field However, this would never happen for the method group. As you can see, the code is the same. It doesn't actually cache anything. Now, in C Sharp 11, and let me just go ahead and change the Roslyn branch. Here we go. And now if I scroll down, as you can see, this new static class with this static field was created. This field is the function. And this is exactly what is being used in here. Now, the approach is a bit different. Instead of creating um, a singleton of the whole class and then this field and then having the jump method over here the new optimization with the method group is actually just creating a static class not a, a sealed class and then a static field in it and then if that field uh, is null then it instantiates the whole thing and it's optimizing it that way so it's interesting that not the exact same approach in optimization was used uh, but because they will kind of perform the same anyway it's interesting to see that the speed performance wasn't really improved either. So overall, very interesting stuff. And I'm happy that this is a thing because this is used everywhere in everyone's code because every ID was suggesting it. And now your code will just suddenly become faster and your memory will be so much more efficient because of this feature just 
existing, which is great. Well, that's all I had for you for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Special thanks to my Patreons for making this video possible. If you want to support me as well, you can find a link in the description down below. Leave a like if you like this video. Subscribe for more content like this and ring the bell as well. And I'll see you in the next video. Keep coding.